know, in the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, this so perfectly describes Amanda Grace. When Peter says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Look what it says in verse 3. And through covetousness shall they with fiend words make merchandise of you. I'm going to show you again today how that's happening with Amanda Grace. All right, so number one, we want to take a look at when Passover occurred this year. Here we go. It tells you right here. It started Saturday, March 27th, and it ended Sunday, April 4th. It is now, I'm an hour away from it being Sunday, April 11th. So we're a full week out from Passover. You know, at this point, I, I know for some of you this may seem redundant, but I'm not going to stop exposing this false prophetess. The video that we're looking at today, you can see the title. You can see the date. This was done on March 11th. Look at the views. This is staggering. The reach that this woman has to spew her vile blasphemy against the living God is unbelievable. And wait till you hear what she says, God says here. I do pause because it's that bad. I simply cannot believe that this many people willingly choose to be deceived by such nonsense. I want to point over here at the super chat also. Now this video is 36 minutes long and this woman made no less than $308 for falsely prophesying. How many of you make that kind of money for not doing even what could be classified as a job? I digress. Let's take a listen. I'm going to make sure the volume's up here and we'll comment as we go. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, this shall be a memorable Passover. For I, the Lord God, shall put an exclamation point on such, and foundation shall be shifted and shaken, as even the Supreme Court shall feel what I, the Lord God, have set out to do. For a pa All right, did you hear that? A memorable Passover, right? Now let's come back here. We see the dates of the Passover for 2021. It ended a week ago. Does any of you, or do any of you, recall this being a memorable Passover, even if you consider the words that Amanda said? In other words, did anything of any significance happen, happen which would fall under the category of this prophecy being fulfilled? The other thing that they'll argue is, well, she always says that it's going to happen around this time. Well, we're a week out now. If something happened Monday or Tuesday, would you remember this as being around the Passover? And the answer is no. No, no, no. It's not even close now. We're a week out. Now, I'm going to play the rest of this because we're going to listen to something that she says here. Our struggle has ensued behind the scenes of the courts, a hostile takeover, says the Lord, as they have sold their powers off to the highest bidder. For men are filled with lawlessness and do not fear the law because they have taken control of the law and make and manipulate their own. Do what thou wilt is not the whole of my law. That's capitalized, says the Lord of hope. Can you believe what she just said, God? said and did here by saying this. I'll, I'll back this up a little bit so you can hear what she said. It's just unbelievable. In control of the law and make and manipulate their own. Do what thou wilt is not the whole of my law. That's capitalized, says the Lord of hosts. And my righteous... She just says the Lord of hosts it is unbelievable. This woman has no fear of God, where she's telling you that God Almighty has quoted Aleister Crowley.
Now, just for a confirmation, I'm going to let it play on a little bit because she does say it again. Just laws are touching down and being carried out in many areas of life, not only personally, but up to the highest seats in the land, says the Lord of hosts. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, the breath of my, that's capitalized word, the breath of God shall be blown on. Aren't you glad that she says that God capitalizes certain words? It is so unbelievably childish. It, it just wrecks the mind. Areas of this land. As my spirit moves amongst a restless people, an unexpected fall around the time of Passover shall leave leadership shaking in the church and in the governmental arena. For behind closed doors, the church has struck deals with the government in order to try and save themselves. And now, I'll pause it there because this is nothing more than, again, I've said this before, just a convoluted tub of sewage. You can't really put down what she's saying here, other than there's going to be a shakeup on or around the time of Passover. She said it was going to be a memorable Passover. Now we're a week out. She's talking something about churches making deals with the government. Um, so you've got to be thinking, well, there's, there's going to be some kind of fallout. Did that happen? Could anything fit into this? And the, and the answer is no. It is, again, nonsensical sewage. And try to imagine that this woman got paid over $300 on Super Chat for spewing this. And, and they just eat it up over here. They just eat it up over here. You've got the, the little Nazi uh, moderators telling grown adults to be quiet. And, and most of them do. You know, I want to make a point here. I'm over at my channel now. I did a video last month, Amanda Grace Grace's February Failed Prophecy, where she and, and whoever this other guy is, they prophesied that February was going to be explosive. And was it? Of course not. It was not explosive. But look at the dollar signs on the forehead to indicate that she did indeed make a boatload of money for falsely prophesying. And here she's doing it again, as I show you in this video. And if you can't realize the pattern of people like this, this godless pretender, who says that God quotes Aleister Crowley, that her methodology is to continue to have you on the edge of your seat while month after month, they prophesy all these things that are going to happen, and it doesn't come to pass. How gullible are you? How gullible. Even after you read the warning in Second Peter that these people will come forth and make merchandise of you, and it's happening, and the followers do not care. You are all taking part in bearing false witness against the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, as you continue to absolutely wreck the faith of hundreds of thousands. You know, I'm going to leave you with Matthew 7. This is the word that you should fear. This is the word of God in which you should read and fear and tremble at the words of the Lord. Not some New Yorker given her convoluted, familiar spirit, late night words that she thinks she's getting from God. Look what Jesus said. This is so powerful. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Destruction is where you don't want to be. Watch what it says. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Narrow. And few there be that find it. Why do you think there's few there be that find it? Well, because they're all out listening to absolute lunatics pretend that God is speaking through them while they have a pig in the room and they receive gifts and hundreds of thousands of dollars for falsely prophesying. This is why there's few that find it, because they refuse to read the true word of God.
Immediately, Jesus says, beware of false prophets. Are you doing this? Can you say that what I've shown you doesn't constitute as a false prophecy? And if you say that it's not, then you're in denial. It is false prophecy. Therefore, you are ignoring the very warning from Jesus Christ himself here. And they come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Look what it goes to down here in verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Let me ask you, when you prop up and continue to follow a known and proven false prophet, are you doing the will of the Father in heaven? You're not. You're actually doing the opposite. And he goes on, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Isn't that something? And in thy name we've cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful words. And now what follows is the most terrifying words that any human will ever want to hear in existence. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity. This whole charade with the man of grace is nothing more than iniquity. And the whole charade with the followers who suffer this woman to continue to do this is also iniquity. You followers will not be held unaccountable. 